Welcome to the Art Lady's home. Today is the lazy way of making stuffed peppers. And uh, basically what I do is I throw everything in the pot here. I have my rice, one cup of rice. I have a cup, two cups of water. I have approximately a pound of chicken. That is six pieces of chicken tenders, which is approximately a pound of chicken. And then I have three Italian sausage uh, links, or I guess you would call them just Italian sausage. They're, they're the full size Italian sausage and they are the hot sausage, but you can also use mild if you'd like. And then I'll be using some uh, banana peppers and I'm gonna be putting in a little bit of canine pepper, a splash of that for some spice and some garlic. You can throw in fresh garlic if you'd like. I'm gonna use this dried up garlic here, this dry garlic in a container, garlic and herbs, some black pepper, salt, and then I have three fresh tomatoes. Um, I'm also going to throw in the rest of this bag a seasoning blend. So as I'm starting my chicken, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this right here. Those chickens are frozen, so I want to get them ahead to start cooking. Um, plus the time that they thaw and cook, it'll be about the time that that sausage will cook because that sausage is raw there. And this is not minute rice. This is rice that takes 24 minutes to cook. So by the time I cook that rice, the meat will be done as well. And as I'm cooking that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be throwing in some different ingredients. And I'm going to go ahead and start the cooking process. And I'm going to cut up those uh, tomatoes. I'm going to dice them uh, with my little chopper here. And then I will show you what it's looking like. And I'll show you how, as I put in my spices and things, how I do this. But this is a very quick and easy way of making stuffed peppers. I like it because it's one dish on the stove. And then I'm going to just put it in a small oven uh, baking dish to bake it until the cheese is melt. Uh, but basically a one pot. And as some things are cooking, I'm chopping others. So it's a very simple recipe, quick and fast for stuffed peppers. Okay, what I've done is I've diced up my tomatoes. I threw in the onion mixture. That's about, I'd say two, almost two cups of of those diced onions, um, probably a cup and a half. It has a very, very little bit of bell pepper um, and very little bit of red pepper, not much in those mixtures. And I just used it because that's a little bit easier. Um, I'm just trying to do this one quick. I'm not using my fresh onions. This could be cut up a little bit more. But anyways, I turned on the heat, so I'm gonna start simmering this all together with the rice. I am gonna throw in my quarter cup of banana peppers. Right here, approximately quarter cup. This, uh, this I think is the secret ingredient in this. This just adds a little bit of a kick to this. I am doing very little canine pepper right here. Just a light sprinkle on top. Um, we don't need much in this. And I'm going to do a teaspoon of black pepper. Mm. That might be a little bit too much to me. Let me measure that so you don't know exactly how much I'm putting in. I've been using about half a teaspoon. I don't want to go over a teaspoon. Let me see. Here's a half a teaspoon. That's what I think I'm going to be doing. Yeah. That's a little bit under a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I don't like a huge peppery taste to this. This just adds a little bit of flavor there. That's about a half a teaspoon. And then I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of this dried garlic here, which is garlic herb mix. It's basically just powdered garlic. You can add fresh garlic if you want to, but I, like I said, this is gonna be the lazy way today. So quick and easy, pre-done everything. And I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of salt in here. This seems like an awfully big. Um, salt, Let's put a little bit more in there. So there's a half a teaspoon, an awful big teaspoon here. Uh, but there's a half a teaspoon put in. Now I'm just gonna let this cook on medium 
for about 25, 30 minutes. Um, and then what I'll do is I'm gonna pull out the meat after that's done and I'm going to dice the meat up once they're cooked. I kind of want to separate this chicken because it's frozen. I want to give it equal. I don't want to have it all in one spot. And as this all simmers together, all these flavors are going to absorb into that rice and absorb into the meats. And it's going to make a really delicious filling for those peppers. There, that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to cover that now let that simmer and then I'll turn the cover take the cover off um, in a little bit I'm gonna turn it down to about a medium heat and just let that simmer these peppers are just gorgeous I'm gonna show you while this is simmering uh, and cooking I'm gonna show you how I uh, open them up for stuffing and it's a very very simple procedure here I just take the pepper and I cut a circle around this. Well, this isn't quite circular, is it? <laughs> I cut around it the edge like you would carve the top off a pumpkin. Now I'm kind of going down very straight and vertical, so I'm not disturbing that seed pouch. Make sure you go get it continuous around it. And then kind of pull this off. I'm trying to reach in to pull. That way I don't disturb the seeds as much. There, there's only a few inside here because I don't want to be picking out all those seeds forever. And then I'm just reaching in and pulling out any leftover little membrane that has the seeds on it here. And this will be pretty good for stuffing right in here. These are big. So I like them. I like them that size. Hopefully they'll be nice. I'm going to, okay, this one's round, a little bit more rounded. I tried to make them so that they were a little bit flat so they could stay. You know, I tried picking those kind of peppers so they would stay in the dish straight. This one's going to come off perfect, just like the pumpkin. And I'm composting all the rest of this stuff that's left over. I'm going to check this. This is simmering up good, so I'm going to turn it down to about a three or a two, actually. Now I'm going to tap out those seeds. See how easy it is to take that? Otherwise, I, I, I'd end up with a hundred little seeds if I mess up those seed packs there. I'll show you on the last one. So it's really very quick. You throw it all in the pot, one pot, let it all simmer together, and then this stuff, this isn't too bad. I mean, if this was difficult, I wouldn't be doing it. Look at that. Got it all good. A few seeds, that's it. Tap and I'm done. I did wash these really good um, in my clean sink over here, my vegetable sink that I had put in. There, this, oh my gosh, this is, this is absolutely a perfect pepper, this shape. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, that's going to make a gorgeous, this came from my farmer's market. This is going to make a gorgeous stuffed pepper. Okay, so they're ready now and waiting, waiting for the filling, and I'll pop them in the oven as soon as I get the filling made. It's been about 20 minutes. I'm gonna show you how I did my chicken and sausage. I just put it in my chopper and to the side here. Diced it up a little. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna flip it this way. Actually. Need a little bit more. I usually just throw it in the pan. Dice it up and throw it in the pan. There, now let me show you what that looks like. All done. It just took a few minutes, or probably a minute to chop it. it wasn't a big deal. Uh, but I wanted it chopped fine so it's blended in really well with the, let me slide this over, with the rice. You can see how it's coming out here. Let me show you. There. So there's our diced up, I might redo these little sausage here. Here's the chicken. Oh, there's two more pieces right here. Yeah, I just stick them in the chopper here. 
And this I want done. This is a little bit chunky, too chunky. This one looks chunky too. And let me touch up that up a little bit. But this looks really good. Uh, the water's absorbed, the rice is cooked. I'm gonna put my last, this needs to be chopped too. My last bit of feta cheese mixed through here and stuff the peppers and then put them in the oven. I'm gonna show you that next step just now, just in a minute. This is 20 minutes after I cooked it. It's about 20 minutes. The rice is done. It didn't need the 25. Uh, the meat's all cooked in. What I did was I chopped it. I put my meat chunks in the dicer and then I'm gonna put the cap on the dicer and then I'm gonna chop it. I just hit it a few times in my chopper just a little quick handheld chopper and it dices it up really well um, scrape it and I'm putting it in hot it's to, it works out fine it doesn't turn anything burn my fingers or nothing and uh, I want the meat to be pretty diced and chopped so it's equally distributed throughout the whole thing here so we have a nice stuffing looks delish now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix in my package of feta cheese and I'll throw I'll throw in a little bit of a little bit of olives too to make it that Mediterranean this time uh, so let me go get that this is what it looks like after 25 minutes 20 25 minutes of cooking. The rice has co cooked completely. The um, meat has been cooked. I diced it with my chopper. I just put the meat in the chopper here. Diced it up really good. Um, and then, then I stirred it in to blend. So I have a mixture of the sausage and the chicken. You can see little pieces of chicken here. And then I still have my ground, the sausage here. If you didn't use sausage links, you could always use the ground sausage. It would be easier to save you that one less step of chopping the, the, the sausage but um, I used what I had on hand and sometimes in the stores it's hard to find it just the ground it's always in the casings now I'm gonna throw in my package of um, feta cheese and a little bit of olives black olives I'm gonna do a heaping tablespoon and another heaping heaping tablespoon of black olives. I don't want it to be overpowering. Some people don't like these sliced calamari black olives. I do. I love the black ones. I don't really care for the green. Uh, it just gives a little bit more flavor. Salty. Gives it a little more saltiness to it. Uh, but put in as much as you'd like. I just do two heaping tablespoons. That's all. And now I'm going to gently stir in a package of this feta cheese. Any feta cheese is fine. The, the amount I'm using here is six ounces. I just happen to have this. I like this kind because it's pre-crumbled. And it's this one is a little bit of tomato basil. And I may, I'm going to save a little bit just to sprinkle on top for making it look a little pretty. So I'm going to stir this in lightly now that it's cooked. I've removed it from the heat. so. It's not going to cook anymore. I don't want to overcook those, that rice. And then I'm going to go ahead, stuff the peppers. And I'm going to put it in a glass dish with olive oil on the bottom. A little bit of olive oil. I give it a little jiggle so it fills up. Hopefully, I can use up all this. There. Right there. Get one little scoop here. And then we sprinkle with a little bit of the feta cheese on top to make it look pretty. And then remove anything like this. There. If you want to go like this, you could even do that. There you go, a black olive in the middle. I'm gonna sit it in a dish, the baking dish, and then I'm gonna bake it for about 20, 25 minutes, just to heat up the uh, peppers. 
Well, they are finished. I stuffed them, sprinkled a little bit of the feta cheese on top, and they taste the filling tastes absolutely delicious. It has that really nice Mediterranean feel. It's nice and moist. I'm only going to cook this as long as my pe peppers are uh, to cook them to become tender, slightly tender. I don't want to overcook this and dry them out at all because right now it's nice and moist. So cook it according to how you like your peppers. Some people like them, wet, you know, peppers well done. Some people like them just barely heated. So I'm gonna cook mine, because I like mine in a medium softness. I like mine to just start to shrivel up on the outside, just start to turn a different texture. Um, I don't like them crunchy, but I like them uh, soft. So I'm going to cook them for about 15 to 18 minutes, then take a peek and check the skins. And then um, if I need to, I'll cook them for the full 25 minutes. But I'm gonna go ahead, pop them in the oven now, and then I'll let you see how they come out. And here is your stuffed peppers. Um, after 20, this is 25 minutes of cooking. Um, I did lose track of time, and so I ended up not checking them earlier. Uh, they ended up going the full 25 minutes. But if you look, they're starting to turn that olivey brown, which is a little bit overcooked. I don't like it like that. They're starting to soften though. Their skin is starting to wrinkle up. Um, so I didn't overcook them, but um, I like them a little less cooked than this, but uh, to your taste. But here you can see 25 minutes what happens. Um, and they came out delicious. The filling is a little has a little kick to it. So if you like things mild, adapt it so that it's not as spicy. Maybe not uh, put in the canine pepper or uh, as much black pepper, uh, but uh, they are good. They give me they gave they give me the feeling of almost a Mediterranean Mexican kind of combination recipe. It's a, it's a family recipe that we use. My family loves everything anything spicy or the banana peppers. My son loves that. He's a teenager and just loves anything hot with hot sauce or hot spice. So he will enjoy these and I hope you will too. Please leave your comment and let me know how you did and how yours turned out.